Hey, how are you? Just chilling here with my beer. And that's it. Just enjoy, enjoying <clears throat> in my Star Wars t-shirt. Just enjoying the last days of summer. Yeah, today was a roller coaster. Plans changed every minute, but that was good. I was with friends and I was taken good care of. We visited some places, some were clean, well organized. look successful some are not so much but most of them well and that was good to see it's always good to see when people can spend their budget in the right way no matter the size of the budget they can make it work and that is always wonderful to say it's getting dark by 8 o'clock, 40 degrees, boiling hot, still, every day, sun is very bright, and that's good. So many things happening, really, so many things, I don't even know where to start, but I will pick one, I will pick one story to tell you today. We went to a coffee. Actually, I had five coffees to choose from, and I chose one. And I and I will tell you right now why I choose that particular one. And the reason being, I heard one Hungarian girl talking in Japanese. And you know when you talk foreign language it's not just about how you say the words how you put the words in a sentence how how you pronounce the difference the different um, things you want to say the different feelings it's not just about that it's not just about your tone of voice. It's about the whole body, the body language. And she had it all. It was amazing to see. I can even say that I never seen this before. Absolute 100%. She was sitting at the table next to the entrance to the coffee. In, in a very, very Hungarian dress, almost folklore-like design on it. And she was talking to a Japanese man. And the Japanese man, you could see it on him that he was talking in a way that he does not hold himself back. It's very important when you talk on your native language to someone who just learned that language you obviously pay very particular attention for the other person to understand you fully so you talk slower you choose different expressions that you would otherwise choose and you make it more simple, you know, to get the message across. And here, I, I didn't see that. And the Japanese guy, he was very sporty, with muscles and all that. He looked at her very approvingly. And I did the same because 
she used every muscle in her body to express what she wanted to say. It was perfect, perfect communication. And I was, I was wondering, she was born with a gift for languages or she just put very hard work, long hours to learn a language. I wasn't even toying with the idea to go to her and ask, is this the second or the fourth or the sixth language you learned or you had practice already how to make a foreign language yours how how did you learn this so deeply so perfectly i was jealous yeah i can tell you i was jealous i was looking at her how she moved her shoulders how she moved her fingers how she it was a full performance for every single sentence, for every single word, for every single sound. Such an energy, such a talent. It was really great to see. It's so great to be in the same town like these talented people I met today. And it's not just the talent, the hard work too. And this is very, very important. <laughs> I'm a lazy man. I don't really have talent. I don't really do hard work. But I do appreciate when someone has the talent and do the hard work too. <laughs> yeah, I do. It was nice to talk to you.